Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club and Schroeder Skywalker from the DFS Club. We're coming to you guys with an NFL main slate video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, smash that bell icon so you know when my videos go live and when they drop, you'll be the first to know. Um, hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. Schroeder and I love to hear from you guys. Um, Hopefully you guys had a great weekend so far, man. We killed it today. I cashed in every single sport. UFC, NBA, NHL. Uh, there was another one. NFL. I swept NFL. Uh, all three lines on the show online on DraftKings Cash. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's start the show. All right, so let's kick off the show. We're going to brag a little bit because this is what we do, guys. This is the DFS Club Hall of Fame, and this is just today. Mr. MMB won $3,000 on prize picks there. Won another 400 there. Why not? Why not? Triple OG won 250 uh, Rob H. with his UFC So Close Fun Card. Thanks, Skywalker. You are welcome, Rob. Very nice. What I tell y'all? The Black Beast was going to take it. First round knockout, man. Good for him. I can't believe the disrespect on his price tag and just him being an underdog like that. But, hey, he let them all know. So, congratulations, Rob. Uh, DJ Woods came in 13th. Very nice. It's nice seeing a UFC car where all your fighters got wins there. It's really, really, really cool to see. Mamba World got his top 10s. That's what's up, dude. Good job, man. Uh, get busy show. Got a 235 and a showdown here. Came in 19th. Let's see, Decker, where are you at, man? Is that you on top? I think it is. A little takedown for Decker. He did it one, two, three, four, five, five times, man. Five times like Booker T. Very nice, dude. With a 388, 500 bucks times three, five times five. Nice, man. ATL had a great night on DraftKings. Took, took it down. $1,500. That's what's up, man. Good job. Awesome. Um, got another one, too. 1000 bucks. This is what we do, man. Nice, dude. Mamba World with a $15 um, prize picks. Kingman42 says, I'll take it. You're damn right he'll take it. A $100 winner, 327 total. Nice, nice, nice. I'm kind of like digging like these these NBA slates where there's like uh, like eight players on each team. It's so much easier in my book. Uh, DFS Space, $25 winner there on prize picks. Mamba World with another winner, $25, $15. Adam got $200 winner there. Maisha. See, so guys, we got women in here too. We got the ladies in here. She won $40 off of $1, guys. Came in fifth. 40x value. That's what's up. That's what's up. 123 here off of $3. Nice job, young lady. Triple OG, 176. This looks like college football to me. We play every single sport, guys. 150 bucks there. You guys are the FS Club. You should be very proud of yourself today. We had a great, great day. If you guys want to join the club, you guys are sick and tired of watching everybody else win, or if you're just winning by yourself, come join the family, man. We'd love to have you guys. It's dfsclub.com. dfsclub.com is where you go to get all my lineups, the ownership, projections, top stacks, the members-only podcast. We go live one hour before lock exclusively to the DFS Club, um, and that's where the magic happens. That's when all the news comes in. That's when, like, Everything happens. So I don't even look at lineups until we do the podcast. So DFSclub.com, guys, we do every single sport, just like you saw there. It's real easy to sign up. You just click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And pick your plans, guys. We have our bronze, silver, and gold plans. And we have three-day passes. We're the cheapest in the industry, guys. It's not even close. Not even close. Um and this includes every single sport. It includes prize picks. Um, 
what was the other? Oh, no, sports wagering. We do that too. Um, DraftKings, FanDuel, Monkey Knife Fight, freaking Underdog, you name it, guys. We do it all. DFS Club dot freaking com. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And thank you guys so much for all the support yesterday, man. I know I put out three videos, but you guys killed it with the views. So I really appreciate it. That's what keeps that's what inspires me to keep going and keep doing these videos. So I really appreciate the support, guys. All right. So last thing, and I promise, last thing, this is Draft Dashboard, the sponsor of the video. It's one dollar for 30 days. All you got to do is click in the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. You get access to all my player pools, the watch players, the lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting in the old prison pocket, sleepers and studs of the slate, the position optimizer, and the NFL cheat cheat. Because if you can't win, cheat. Right, Schroeder? He says, you damn right. Got the best studs, best mid tier, best value. This is Draft Dashboard. So the advantage I have of doing these the night before is I pretty much know who's going to play and who's not. By the way, cheers, Rockstar up. I need to start drinking again, man. Whew. Let's go to position optimizer. We'll start our quarterback. Um, so Josh Allen is 8.1K on DraftKings this week. $600 more on FanDuel. He's good at football. Right? I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You know he's in play. Uh, Kyle Murray, he's also good at football. He has a juicy matchup against Detroit. 7.9K, 22-31 in his last two. Uh, James Conner is going to play tomorrow, so um, <clears throat> just be careful because there have been weeks, man, where we played Kyler Murray and he just, they get to the goal line, hands it off to James Conner. James Conner punches it in for three to four touchdowns. So just keep that in mind when you're rostering Kyler Murray. Aaron Rodgers is at 7.5K going up against Baltimore. Um, 33, 29, 37 in his last three. This man's been on freaking fire. I don't see him slowing down at all against Baltimore. Uh, probably my favorite. What's his ownership right now? 5%. Probably my favorite GPP quarterback on the slate. You got Dak Prescott at 6.5 going up against the Giants. These two teams do not like each other. Dak's had two bad games in a row. Two 12s. He's $1,000 more on FanDuel. Uh, GP play, GPP play or maybe a cash play, 12%. He always gets a lot of ownership. But my favorite quarterback this week is probably going to be Aaron Rodgers. And then my value quarterbacks this week are Jimmy Garoppolo at 5.8K, only because it's against Atlanta. And he's let's face it, for 5.8, he's played two, two games in a row, 20 and 18. So maybe there is some upside for him. When he's not throwing the ball into the defender's chest, right? Um, and then Tua, 5.7K, going up against the Jets. Last time he faced him, I believe he got like 18 or 20 fantasy points. So I like these two guys definitely for a pay down option on DraftKings and FanDuel. Now, Tua is $1,700 more on FanDuel. So on FanDuel, give me Jimmy G against Atlanta. And that's about it. Lamar Jackson's question. He didn't practice. I don't think he plays. I don't think Lamar plays. So it could be a shootout in Green Bay, man. Let's go. Let's go to running back. So you got Zeke, Mixon, Cordell, Patterson, all fine plays. I just don't think I'm going to get to him this week. I'll probably pay down a little bit. Give me James Conner at 6.4K. Detroit is the absolute second worst in the league against running backs. They give it up to running backs almost as much. As the Jets do. All right. They're second worst behind the Jets. So give me James Conner, 34, 19, 21 in his last three. He's on the field for 59% of the time. Chase Edmonds, I believe, is back though, but James Conner gets all the red zone love. So get him in there at 6'4. I like the Broncos running backs. We got word that they are going to play. Melvin Gordon's only 5.9K going up against Cincinnati. Right. 15th in the league against running backs. So that's not too bad. I like the price tag. Generally, he's $1,100 more on FanDuel. You can play him or Williams or hell, you can play both of them. Honestly, um, Denver just runs the ball. That's all they do. So lots of upside there. You got Miles Gaxon, who has the best matchup on the slate this week, guys. Going up against the Jets, rank dead last. They're ranked 32nd in the league. They give the most fantasy points to running backs in the league. 5.6. Great cash play here. He will be chalky. Um, but yeah, if you fade him and a GVP, I don't blame you because you know he does have those floor games, even in a juicy matchup. 
I can already see it. Just like James Robinson, next up, 5.4K. This dude, I've not been impressed at all. But you know what? He's going to have a lot of ownership this week. It's against Houston. This is the third worst in the league against running backs. We all know what the drama going on over there in Jacksonville. So, I mean, we'll see. I don't know if I'll get to him. I don't have much confidence at all at James Robinson, but maybe new coach, maybe shakes it up. They got the same play callers, though, so I doubt it. Deontay Foreman's 5-2. I mean, I guess. It's not the prettiest play. Um, going up against Pittsburgh, he's put two good games together. It looks like he's taking the lead there in Tennessee. 14-14 and 14 in his last two. 13-19 touches. Doesn't really catch passes, but first through uh, second down, don't mind it there. Actually, Mike Michael Carter this week for the Jets, 4.7K. And I'm surprised about the ownership he's got right now, 17%. That's pretty high, but it's a good matchup. The Jets, they're going to run the ball. He'll probably get in the end zone. He's 8, 18, 10 in his last three, 9, 16, 13 rushes. So he's the best running back they got. And uh, Miami's defense is pretty good. They're eighth in the league against running backs, but give me Michael Carter. Fuck it. You want to pay up? You got Najee Harris. I do like the price, though, on Saquon Barkley. You're going up against the Dallas Cowboys, Schroeder. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nothing like cat, cat fuzz in the face. See? That's all. And then, and then it is, it is, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys? I got a cat in my face. Y'all know what I was going to say. I got a you know what in my face. What's another name for a cat? I'm going to keep it PG, all right? Um, Saquon Barkley, back back to business, Schroeder. Back to business. Stop, stop with the shenanigans, all right? 6.5K is really cheap. He's going to have a breakout game one week this year. Will this be the week? I might be willing to find out, man. 16, 11, 13 touches. He had a 19 last week, which was great, and then a 13 before that. He still gets a bunch of targets, man, so a lot of dump downs, I would assume. So, yeah, give me Barkley at 6.5K on DraftKings, $900 more on Fandle. And, again, Javante Williams, you can pair him up with Gordon if you want, or you can just go Javante Williams. Even with Gordon in the game last game, still got 15 touches, got 21 DraftKings points, 33, 20 before that. He's just underpriced, man, and he should be the bell cow back, but, I mean, what are you going to do with Melvin Gordon, right? Javante Williams is the future of this Denver backfield. So Tony Pollard is going to play, but for 5.8K, no. Can't do it, man. But, yeah, he is going to play. So that's going to hurt Zeke. Let's go to wide receiver. So Devontae Adams at 8.9K. Yes, I like it. I like paying up at wide receiver this week. 37, 21, 34 in his last three. You know, if Aaron Rodgers has been on fire, you know Devontae Adams has been on fire. Um, going up against Baltimore. Don't mind it. 18th in the league against receivers. Get him in there. You got Debo Samuel running back slash wide receiver. Um, Eli Mitchell's out, so they'll probably have Debo Samuel play the Cordell Patterson role. He'll be a running back. He'll be a wide receiver. Um, hope for at least 20 to 30, though, at this price point. Great matchup against Atlanta. So he could run one in, he could catch one and get in, he can throw one in. And Debo Samuel does it all, man. <laughs> but yeah, get him in there at 8-2. A lot of good payups this week. I ain't going to lie. Deontay Johnson has a juicy matchup against Tennessee. 7.5K. Tennessee's 31st in the league against wide receivers. I actually lightweight don't mind a Pittsburgh stack this week. If you want to get really different, get Big Ben and stack his receivers. They're expensive, though. Big Ben's not, but the receivers are. But that's kind of a way maybe you can go this week to get some leverage. Um, 15, 34, 19 in his last three. 10, 11, 14 targets. No less than double-digit targets in his last three. Got to love that. And whenever I stack Dallas guys, they just don't do good. But I'm not going to stack them tomorrow, so feel free. They'll go off, and everybody will be happy. C.D. Lamb is 7.4K. 15, 19 in his last two. Uh, 10 and 13 targets, man. Just peppered with targets. So I don't mind that at 7-4. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, 6.3K. 19, 9, and 13 in his last three. Got 11 targets last week. If Debo Samuel is going to be in the backfield running the ball, Ayuk should be the number one target. And a great matchup against Atlanta. And again, Pittsburgh stack. I like Chase Claypool at only 5.9K. He got nine targets last week, 18 DraftKings points, seven and 11 before that. 
kind of really talking myself into a Pittsburgh stack. Just to be different, man, I'm going to get that Millie. I'm going to get that Millie this week. Uh, if you want to pay down, I got Michael Gallup here at 5'5". Five, five. Double-digit fantasy points in his last three games, and he's gotten nine, nine, and eight targets in his last three games. So little, little, you know, 10-yard catches and stuff, but they add up, man. So you get your double digits at 5'5". Five, five, I think that's okay. Next up, so um, Christian Kirk should be the number one receiver in Arizona this week. Hopkins, I believe, is on the IR again. So Christian Kirk at 5.3. If you're going to play Kyler Murray, you got to get yourself some Christian Kirk and at a very cheap price, too. Same with A.J. Green, man, 4.9K. He got 10 targets last week. He got targeted like crazy last week. Now, does that happen a lot? No. The week before that, he only got one. So... Christian Kirk or A.J. Green, give me Christian Kirk. But if you're going to do a, a Arizona stack, I would just stack both of them. They're not expensive at all. Uh, and then Devonta Parker, 4.3K. Waddle is injured. He is out. So he should be the number one receiver in Miami, and he's only 4.3K. He should be uber chalk, though. He, right now he's garnering about 29% ownership, but for good reason, man. A Miami stack I think will be probably the most popular tomorrow. They're cheap, and they're just in a great spot against the Jets. Let's see. Gabriel Davis for a dart throw. If you're going to pay it for Josh Allen, you don't want to pay it for Diggs or Cole Beasley. You got Gabriel Davis at 3.7K and just throw Knox in with him. 3.7K is not too bad. I mean, he's been looking great lately. Eight, four, and three targets in his last three. Goes deep. 15, 11, and seven in his last three. Again, only three, seven. My punt play wide receiver of the week is going to be Gabriel Davis for them. Buffalo Bills. All right, so let's go to tight end. All right, so George Kittle at 7-5. Yep. I mean, if you're going to play Jimmy G, you got to play George Kittle. Jimmy G's cheap. George Kittle's not. He would be my first option. Then go to Debo Samuel. Then maybe the other guys. Maybe Ayuk. But prioritize Kittle. And then figure out the rest if you're going to play a San Francisco stack. 7.5K, man. 37.43. He's looking like how Kelsey used to look. All right. Uh, I think, well, Kelsey had a good week this week, but still. Mark Andrews, 6.4K. Don't mind it. I mean, it really doesn't matter what quarterback's in there. He was still getting peppered with targets last week when uh, Lamar went down. So 11, 32 DraftKings points. Just a safety blanket. So, Mark Andrews is 6'4". I mean, if he's going to be right up there with Kittle and fantasy points again, that's a good value play. Again, Dawson Knox at 5'1". You're going to play Josh Allen. Dawson Knox looks like he's fully recovered, man. Nine targets last week, 19 DraftKings points. Always a red zone target. And then for the Miami stack, you got Mike Gisecki at 5K. Jets are ranked 25th in the league against tight ends, man. So, I do like that. And no Jalen Waddle. He's out. You got James O'Shigneezy is what I call him. He's only 3.2K. Just a punt option here for tight end. Um, he's not going to break the slate or anything, but he is consistently getting six targets a game. Happens to fall in the end zone. Man, that's even better. That's right, Schroeder. You let him know. Uh, Kyle Pitts is fine. Zach Ertz was limited in practice. I would assume he plays. Um I'll put him in the player pool, but I probably won't get him. What's up, Schroeder? You can come here. You can come hang out, dude. That's right. You can come hang out. It's cool, bro. All right. So, for my Pittsburgh stack, though, I do like the Mooth. Pat Fairmuth for 4.5K. I'm a stack picture. I'm getting the Mooth. The Mooth will be loose. And at 4.5K, I mean, he's priced just right. He doesn't get a lot of targets, but he does get the red zone targets from Big Ben. So, I do like that. Um, let's see who else. Anybody else worth a damn? I don't think so. All right, so that's gonna do it. And then quick look at defenses, Schroeder. What do we always do with defense? We punt, right? Yeah, we punt. Um, you can take a flyer on the Giants, hoping Dak has a bad week again. Uh, they're two six. Washington and Philly. That game's going on Tuesday night. Man. Um, Texans, you can go Texans against Jacksonville, Jacksonville's ass. Um, 
vice versa. <laughs> so you can go Houston or Texas defenses. I don't mind that there. That's about it, man. I'm not going – I don't very rarely overgo 3K. If one of these defenses gets you a pick six, guys, you're sitting very pretty, especially on FanDuel where you get a ton of fantasy points for defenses. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. So, again, my sneaky stack of the week is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to stack them up in a GBP line. Thank you, Schroeder, for the kiss. I appreciate that. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then I'll just figure out the rest, man. Thank you guys so much. Really, thank you guys. We hit damn near 1,000 views yesterday for my video, so I really appreciate it. Shout out to the DFS club. If you guys want to join the club, take advantage of this, man. Take it. We have so much fun. We're grinding it out every single day, and it's a blast. It's a blast. Um, DFSclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo, and then click your plan, and you're in like Flynn. And that, I'm old, so I say shit like that. Draft Dashboard's $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard. This is Schroeder Skywalker. I'm Gabriel Skywalker. Again, thank you guys so much. So I want to say hi, everybody. Thank you. We love you. Thank you, guys. God bless you. After you go to church, let's watch some football, and let's get this spread, guys. Take care.